Uh, it was an honor for, for many reasons. You know, I, I think that uh, to be a part of this incredible cast and to work under Roland's incredible direction and to tell a story that is so important um, felt felt really special and, and uh, really humbling. You know, this this was actually not a, a story that I knew too much about, and so I was educated in the process. And um, you know, to get to play Bruno was was incredible. Just because I feel like he's an unsung hero in a lot of ways, and um, to, to give him that moment is, is really amazing. And to tell, again, a very important story was a, a pleasure for me. Again, my father served in the military and served in the Navy, um, so it's really meaningful to our family, and, and um, I, I think that you know, to get to tell it on a scale like this and a film like this, introduce it to a new audience as well, uh, is an honor. And, and um, having these service men and women here tonight makes it all the, the better, and um, hopefully we've done this story justice really powerful. It's an epic telling of a very famous moment in American naval history. Um, it is a story I didn't know so well until I got the role and then I did some research and realized that there was a huge amount to, to read up upon this moment. Um, we're all playing very famous you know, heroes who are all played an integral part in turning a very unlikely battle um, to their favor. It's almost um, difficult to even process what these guys were doing and some of them were extremely young. In, in fact, the majority of them were, were late teens, you know, some, and it's represented in this movie very clearly. You see the youth, you know, they went to war. Um, they knew very little apart from leaving school and joining the Navy or the Army, you know, and uh, they gave their lives. A lot of them did did give their lives for, for their country. We try to be as, as real and honest to the story as we possibly can. Um, what is amazing on, the, on a fun note, if you can say that, is the incredible air fight battles, which can only be done by somebody like Roland Emmerich, who uh, absolutely gives this story an incredible like dynamic feel so uh, i think people are in for a, a powerful story an emotional story but also a, you know a great a great ride both grandfathers served my father served all of a sudden you start adding it up because it was it was uh, you know the first generation to uh, without the draft and without uh, being called to service so I, I i take this with such responsibility and the fact that this story like this has never been told so that 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 meant a tremendous amount my wife grew up in, in communist Poland, and uh, her father was a member of Solidarity. And when we started, uh, my, when my wife and I started dating, and I, would, and I met my now father-in-law, uh, he would talk about what freedom means and how we have no concept of it, uh, meaning you don't know what it is until you either don't have it or it's being threatened. Uh, and that was really, so w when you talk to these servicemen and women, especially during World War II, uh, where the world was changing so quickly, um, and it really could have gone the other way. Well, they're in for a ride, you know, that's the thing. Nothing is too big for Roland, everything is, he's so cool and calm about everything. At the end of the day, he really knows that it's about people, it's about characters. So he worked really hard with our writer, Wes Took, and uh, creating these, you know, really retelling these stories and really uh, getting inside these men's hearts. I'm so excited. I got my family here, my mother and father, for the first time. I've never brought them to a premiere, and this is the first time. So for me, this is like uh, something else. These are real men, and these are people that changed our lives, especially for people in the United States and worldwide. So um, we're telling their story. It's their honor, and it, it, it's theirs. So it's for them, but it's also for us. Yeah, well, I play Lieutenant Clarence Earl Dickinson, and he was a, a dive bomber during the Battle of Midway. So. Um, he sacrificed everything. I mean, these men flew out not knowing if they were going to die or not. They didn't have enough gas for the planes. Um, and they knew that they would never make it back. So they had to ditch their planes knowing that and still going to fight. Is, uh, that's true heroicism. Oh, man, thank you for your service. And uh, my heart goes out to you. Um, I wouldn't have the world I have today if it wasn't for you. And it still is uh, such an honor to know the men that I've met and the men that serve today, so yeah. I mean, it's a wonderful, obviously, huge part of our history, wonderful story. I get to play Jimmy Doolittle, who's uh, um, 
Yes. A genius pilot. He uh, is a daredevil. He's um, he's a warrior, and uh, he made this all happen. So it's uh, wonderful. And, and to work with Roland and the whole cast it was just a great night. And then to meet, you know, the uh, remaining um, heroes of the Battle of Midway. Who knows what the world would have been like had these brave men not uh, had the courage to go in there. It was a suicide mission. The part I played, Jimmy Doolittle, it was a suicide mission. They they didn't have enough. They only had enough fuel to get to Tokyo and to China. They couldn't get back, so they thought they were going to uh, die at sea or or die somewhere else. And some of them did, um, but they just had the they had the courage to do it. And it was all volunteer too. This is a passion project for Roland. He's wanted to do it for 20, 30 years, and he finally got it made. And um, he was a lot of fun to work with. You know, he's obviously a very passionate he's an auteur and um, and so it'll be fun to watch him watch it no it was an, it was such an intense shoot and we tried so hard we put so much effort into it you know there's such kind of responsibility that comes with this territory so um, to now be here and be able to show it to people and you know it's, um, it's it is exciting words don't do do these men justice when we talk about words like courage and sacrifice and bravery and strength? To be someone born in the 80s and speak about it in 2019, I only know them as sort of abstract concepts. I've never been tested enough to, to even know if I'd be capable of such things. In all the different armies in the war, there were men like this and, and stories of heroism and bravery and sacrifice. And I think that's something that's special about this movie as well, that it, it respects the Japanese soldiers as much as the Americans, and I think that's important. Well, it's like uh, you take on a huge responsibility, that's for sure. Uh, we started actually shooting in uh, Pearl Harbor where you're like everybody, everything what's like kind of important about the story is like kind of, you have this memorial stair, so you go there and it's, it's very kind of emotional. Well, for me it was important, you know, not only to tell the battle, but like kind of start with, uh, uh, with the attack on Pearl Harbor. Because that's in a weird way the biggest uh, comeback story of World War II. And it was amazing how these guys pulled it off that uh, being totally the underdogs, like kind of uh, in this huge battle, you know, like beating the mighty Japanese army. Took a, a, a really interesting approach, we like kind of tried to really stay very close at the characters and show how they had fears and, and they were like real human beings because, uh, you know, it was very important to me. I mean, uh, this movie is fantastic. It, it, it's something I am immeasurably proud to be a part of. I think it's coming at such an incredibly perfect time as well, um, right on, you know, the heels of Veterans Day. Uh, it's it, the, the message of heroism and courage can't be overstated like this this movie sort of has something for everybody anytime you can be a part of something with this you know significance in terms of like the historical context it's yeah it's it's an incredible honor Roland and his entire team and this just like gigantic ensemble of of wonderful actors with really you know passionate performances it's it's the perfect group to um, that was put together to tell this this particular story. I'm unendingly grateful to their sacrifice and their courage and bravery uh, for all of our benefits. Um, yeah, just thank you. It was a really special opportunity, and it's, it's so special to have the veterans here because this is really about them, and you know, it's honoring their remarkable story that's been told before, but I don't think in this way. It's really about people, and it's about the courage of these people who, you know, in an incredibly dark and challenging time, stood up in the face of what seemed insurmountable odds, and you know, did their best. I think the message for the vets is: first of all, we appreciate the service of everyone in this battle, but also for the vets who are currently serving. You know, we we understand what you've done and how you know it's been a long 18 years, and you're seen by all of us.